Hi everyone. You're going to notice something new and different when you go to submit an assignment. And so I wanted to show you what it's going to look like and why it's that way so that you won't be surprised, but you'll hopefully be happy because it's a much better experience. So let's go ahead and look at the new submission tool inside of Canvas. We'll just go into one of my classes. And so if you were in my class, you would come to a, a module and Okay, so this is unit one and you'd see that uh, you need to do these tasks first. So let's just go ahead and go into the, the first one. And so you read the essential question and you click next. And you might do this with your class and then you'd do the reading because that's what you've been asked to do. And then you click next. And But eventually, so you'd watch the video and then you click next. So all these are all my learning tasks. But eventually you come to a page that looks like this. This is an assignment. Okay. And hopefully already you see that it looks very different than what you are used to. Uh, particularly, there's this timeline right here above any of the assignment content. Okay, um, What this is, is it's showing you the timeline from when your assignment is available to be uh, done all the way through uploading it, submitting it, and whether or not it's graded, even if it's been given feedback. And we'll see that for uh, that part in a second. You can see the big details of when it's due, the details of how many attempts can I make on this assignment, how many points um, that are available, and even how my uh, score is calculated. So for example, in this one, it says most recent because it uses a rubric, which is down here. Okay. Um, in the middle here, are the assignment details and you see that when you scroll down it does that nice little um, fade to the right okay and you can still see what your what your status is okay you can uh, if you had already submitted it you can look at the different attempts that you've made okay and so here are the details of the assignment so I'm supposed to copy some questions and so I'm just going to do that real quick I'm going to right click and copy in the image right there. It's supposed to say stop, but that's okay. And I'm going to go back over here, and you can see that this is the, the submission area. And so right here it says submission type, and I have to choose one. Okay, so let's go ahead and click, and it says I can do a text entry, which is the first one, or I can submit a, a website URL. Okay, so I'm going to do text entry, and it gives me this option right here, and so I'll click start entry, and that gives me the normal editor okay so this says i was supposed to copy the answers and so i just pasted those there and let's pretend that i actually answered them um i think i know all the answers to these questions so next i'm going to click save okay uh, but just because i saved it doesn't mean it's submitted yet you notice that there's a the button right here says submit so uh if i wanted to come back okay so let's say i, I left this page i'm just going to go previous and then I'm going to come back to next. Okay. And notice that it's still here. So I can hit edit. So let's say that I, I needed to come back and work on it because now I know the answers and this, this is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. And I can hit save. So that, that's very helpful if I need to work on something uh, over a, a longer period of time before it's uh, submitted. Okay. And even if I were to log out, of this and come back in it's still going to be there and so let's go ahead and hit submit though we're ready to submit so again right here in this uh, blue submission button click submit and notice okay that it automatically shows me what my submission was right there okay but let's scroll up and look at our timeline it says it was available and it's a green check mark it was uploaded which is what i just did Okay, so we uploaded our answer, but it wasn't submitted yet. Then I click submitted and it has not been graded yet. Okay, let's go and switch over to the teacher view for a second. And I can do that right here. And so then let's say that my teacher comes in and they see uh, the assignment. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to assignments. And there's one that needs to be graded up. Oh, there it is right there. This is what it looks like for the teacher. And the teacher sees the answers. Oh, those are the, those are mostly the right answers. So I'm going to grade it uh, three out of four. Very good. And so it's been graded. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to hit refresh. 
and notice it now says graded. So it showed me the timeline, but there's also a button right here that says new attempt. So let's say that I got a three out of four and I can see that three out of four and I can scroll down and I can look at the rubric and it shows me three out of four meets expectations, but you know what? I want to do better. And my teacher says I have unlimited attempts. And so I'm going to do a new attempt and I'm going to click there. And you can see that the timeline is now reset and it now says attempt two. So attempt one, attempt two, I can scroll down here and now it says attempt two. Again, I can choose uh, what kind of entry I want to do. Start entry. Oh, yes. And I can do it again answer my questions, save it. Again, remember that it's not submitted, it's just saved. Uh, and so that way if I wanted to come edit or I can even say, you know what, I'm deleting that one, I'm doing it again. So I'm gonna put that there, save. And then when I'm totally ready, I hit submit. And again, it shows up here, if we can get up there, right there. It shows submitted. This one hasn't been graded, but if I click over to attempt one, I can see that it has been graded on that one. And attempt two has not been graded. I can still make more attempts. So that's the new submission tool. Uh, I hope that you won't be uh, overwhelmed by the, the, the new setup. It is pretty different, but it's a lot cleaner. I can see my comments that my teacher might have said. I can see I can submit a comment if I want to. Um, and these, these icons here in this timeline are really going to give me good detail of what is the uh, status of my work. Cheers.